Stratus Six postulate the rigidity of the triangle, which can be used as an alternative to superposition. Oh, no, don't tell me. I think Kenzie's been infected by the same thing as the others. For over 2,000 years, they didn't even call it Euclidean geometry, just geometry, because there was no other kind, kind of like Italian food in Italy. What are we going to do? I mean, I can practically hear her brain boiling. Don't worry, I've got some good news. I've made some progress. According to my test, whatever it was that infected those two cheerleaders follows a curve. At first, there's increased brain function. That's the stage that Kenzie's in now. But after a while, the substance expands to overwhelm the human brain. That's good news. The more that we know about this thing, the closer we are to stopping it. Well, how long did it take before Beverly lost it? Two days. Two days? I know. I'm hoping that we can do better than that for Kenzie with the help of sedation. This is incorrect. No, no, Kenzie, no, no, no. Oh. You had that saved, right? It doesn't matter. It was based on a false hypothesis. You assumed that the infectious agent could only bind to DNA using standard transcription factors. She's right. No, no, she's right. The Ashes Falls show that the face students in the school are all Akvans. But what if somebody gave them something to make them smarter? That would explain the supercoiling of the DNA. Hello. But how did the Akvans infect the cheerleaders and Kenzie? Any number of ways. Most likely somehow orally. But I'll need the source of the infection. Okay, I'm on it. Take care of Kenzie. Okay, but Bo. Bo. Whatever this thing is, we have to stop it before it spreads beyond the school. Because if we don't, it could quite literally infect everyone everywhere. I got it. 